Mid-morning and the PRBs head to the starting grid for the first race of four. The start was a clean one, except for the misgear of Warwick Williams, causing some breathtaking moments for Michael McCosker and Scott Matthews behind him. With David Grant not starting and Warwick left behind, this gave a dream start to Ivan and Stig, who rushed into the corner to secure a second and third, but behind the fast starting Chris Barry in the lead. Adam Moore was forced to start on the dummy grid, which left the gate open for Paul Barnes to secure a class lead, ahead of Rick Williams and Daniel Bando. But the real race was happening up front, with the lead exchanging numerous times between Chris and Stig, with Ivan also in the mix in the earlier laps. They were giving racing room to each other, but things were indeed tight in the corners. Warwick Williams had made a great recovery after blowing the start to secure sixth place, behind Michael McCosker and Scott Matthews. John Moyes had been stuck in nowhere land, behind the top six, but ahead of Paul Barnes. Rick Williams was also driving the skin off his Class C car, getting close to Paul Barnes and staving off the attack of Adam Moore, who was now up to 10th after starting from the dummy grid. But still, the racing up the front was unrelenting, with Stig and Chris putting in a great show for the lead. Nearly every time you saw them, they were side by side. Whilst Warwick had taken Michael and Scott for fourth place, with Warwick setting a fastest lap. Despite throwing everything at it, Chris Barry had to be content with second place, as Stig kept the lead for the last lap to take the win. Ivan drove well to keep out a flying Warwick Williams in fourth place. Whilst Michael McCosker only just denied Scott Matthews for fifth place. Paul Barnes came home only half a second in front of a superb drive from Rick Williams, with Adam Moore only a second behind them after a dummy grid start. Daniel Bando led the rest of the Class C homes, with Stefan, Adam, Glenn needing to do more in race two to keep in touch with the points. Commiserations to Jos Kroon, who snapped a Conrod towards the end of the race and thus ended his day prematurely. Well, I was just driving up the hill out. I had someone hot on my tail. I was just going normally. I wasn't over revving or anything. And suddenly I heard this noise and I thought something had fallen out the back. I hadn't realised it was a part of my engine. It was a really good fun race. Um, great battle with Chris. Uh, gave each other racing room, but only just. Um, and uh, I'm beaming. Thoroughly enjoyable. Sixth to first with um, a bit of fun and a bit of dicing. Very happy man. 
Um, missing gears a couple of times, still struggling with this gearbox, but uh, uh, on the whole, the misfire had gone away. Um, I seemed to get the tyres right this time, uh, so I had some grip where I wanted it, and um, it was, uh, no, the car was good. Drivers still need a bit of work, but the car was good. There's only one more lap to get him. <laughs> yeah, well, when I saw the last lap yeah. wall come out, and you had a run on me already, and I thought, yeah. oh, I don't know, I, kn I knew you'd be able to block going into, um, yeah, into the last corner, so I thought, mm. I thought right, OK, I'll go down the inside. inside. Wasn't quite sure whether you were going to be able to cut back on me. No, you held it pretty tight, so yeah. I could get underneath you. Great race, great yeah, fun. Yeah, that was good fun. I thought I'd put it in the first gear probably, but hadn't. Um, I dropped the clutch and I had no nothing, so I had to bang it back into gear and I probably lost, I was second on the grid, so I probably lost, uh, second third on the grid, probably lost five or six places. And I got to about fourth and uh, overcooked the, uh, the end of the straight getting that guy. And then he passed me again, I got him back again the next, and I actually was just behind the leaders at the end, so it was, uh, the car's on fire today. Got off to a great start. Um, Adam Moore started on the dummy grid, so it left an empty space in front of me. So I was able to um, do quite a well at the beginning. And then uh, went as hard as I could and was fortunate not to be overtaken by the end. I saw a couple of cars coming up that were going real well, Adam among them. So, uh, pretty pleasing result. Got first in division. Cars going good, jumping out of fourth gear, so there'll need to be a bit of work on the gearbox when there's a bit of money around. That might be next season, the way things are looking. I might have to hold it in fourth till then. We didn't get the other switch in time, we had to go into Rillen to get it. And um, so we went to town, come back, and it didn't quite fit properly. We modified the other one up to get it going, but unfortunately we missed the start, had to start from the dummy grid. So what was your result in that race? Oh, we finished third in our, in our class, but not good outright. No black flag though? No black flag though, it did work, but uh, we're not trusting them for the second race. Uh, look, um, I was quite happy with myself uh, keeping up with the rest of the pack for the first time and uh, trying too hard coming into turn one at the end of the straight on cold tyres, uh, went off on the grass <laughs> and then consequently lost touch with the rest of them and then the second time around I found the grass again watching the, the pack catch up with me <laughs> and suddenly they were there and it was like, oh hell, I missed my breaking point and I'm in the, <laughs> in the grass and trying to avoid the cars coming back off me. So it wasn't uh, my best race, but uh, I'm going to have to go out there and try a little bit harder, I guess.